Here we are with our first index law, law 1. And it says that a to the power of m times a to the power of n equals a to the power of m plus n. Now there's a couple of important things to note here when it comes to index laws. The first is that you see these a's, a, a, a. The base to the power of something times the same base to the power of something is equal to the same base to the power of that plus that. The important part is that the base, the number at the bottom, or the letter at the bottom, has to be the same. So any index law stuff that we're doing, we need to be really, really careful that we don't do something silly like this. Here, x to the power of 7 times y to the power of 3. Some people might go, oh, okay, I can use my index law here, and they'll say, using index law 1, I put my bases together, and then I add those two numbers, 7 plus 3, and I get 10. That's wrong. Don't do that. Because the bases aren't the same. So this is nonsense. Let's look at how index law 1 really works. So here's a good example here. And straight away you can see we can use this index law. Because the bases are the same. So k to the power of 5 times k to the power of 2 times something to the power of something is equal to k to the power of this plus this. So k to the power of 5 times k to the power of 2 is equal to k to the power of 7. Now this second example might confuse people, but what it really says is 3 times x to the 4 times 5 times x to the 2. When a number and a letter are next to each other like that, there's a little tiny multiply sign in there that you can barely see. So if that's the case, and there's 3 times this, times this, times this, times this, you should know that it doesn't matter what order you multiply things in. If you do 2 times 3, that's the same as 3 times 2. If you do 2 times 4 times 5, that's the same as 5 times 4 times 2. You can multiply in any order. So, here, I'm going to multiply my numbers first. So 3 times 5. And then I'm going to multiply my um, bases and powers next. Times x to the power of 4 plus 2. Because x to the power of 4 times x to the power of 2 is the same as x to the power of 4 plus 2. 3 times 5 is 15, and x to the power of 4 plus 2 is x to the power of 6. One last example here, but the rules from the previous two examples still hold. 4a squared b cubed times 5a to the 4b. Now again, if everything's stuck together, that means there's little multiply signs in here. So it says 4 times this times this times this times this times this. Everything's multiplied by each other. So, first I'm going to multiply my numbers. 4 times 5. Then I'm going to multiply the letter A's. Because they have the same base. So it's going to be A squared. Uh, plus A to the 4. And then this last one's a little bit interesting. b to the 3 times just b. Times b to the 3. Now, if you see the letter b by itself, you go, where's the power? How do I deal with this? b all by itself has a tiny little invisible 1 up the top. That says b to the power of 1. So using this method here, this is actually b to the 3 times b to the power of 1. So when we get to this bit, we can add 1. Finally, that's going to be 20, a to the 6, b to the 4. Alright, that's index law 1, only 7 to go.